Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rochelle. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I talk about planning, fragrance, body care, and budgeting, and pretty much anything else that I want to talk about. But if any of that feels like something you may be interested in, then go ahead and click on that subscribe button. But don't stop there. Hit that notification bell and make sure you set it to all so that you don't miss whenever I upload a new video. If you are already a subscriber, Thank you. You are greatly appreciated. So y'all, let's get into these empties. All right, y'all. So this is going to be, as you've seen from the thumbnail, empties from July and August. Now, I tried my best to separate the items from candles and home fragrance and body care. So let's go ahead and just get right into these bags. So here is the first bag here. And this is the bag that I always use for my empties. And y'all, we're going to go ahead and get through this because this stuff has been piling up and trash goes out tomorrow. And I need to go ahead and get through this stuff. Okay. No stranger to the channel. We have here this Persil Everyday Clean. This is the... Um, laundry detergent that we love to use use it up it is what it is definitely will repurchase as i always do i have another per seal this is the bigger one the 150 fluid ounces so we have this one here all right then we have a dove shea butter bar soap we finished up another Dove Shea Butter Body Soap. Now, I don't know if these soaps are mine, which ones are mine, which ones are Raylan's, because we both use the same um, soap. Another Dove Soap. And another one. And another one. And another one. Okay, we got another Dove Shea Butter Body Soap. Y'all, this is good. Like, if you just... This pairs well with all of, or any and all of your fragrances. It's not a real heavy scent, um, but you do, I mean, you do smell it. It just smells clean, but y'all, this is really good. So, um, yeah, it's really moisturizing as well. Y'all know Dove products are really good and moisturizing. Now, I know this one here is Raylan's because this is the original. So, she finished that one up. Let's see, what else? We've got another one in the Shea Butter. So when you see those bar soaps like that, those are mine and hers. Now, you probably wonder, okay, we never see your husband. Well, y'all, he throws his away. He uses dial soap. He just throws his away, and I'm not digging through the trash, okay? This next item here is the Gain Fabric Softener in the Moonlight Breeze. Love, love, love this here. We'll definitely keep repurchasing this. It makes your clothes smell so good and feel good. So we have another one here. All right. Raylan finished up this Dove Deep Moisture. Is this body wash? Okay. She also finished up this Listerine Cool Mint mouthwash. I've got to get me some of this, but I got to get the purple one. Um, what is that? I forget what it's called, but it's the purple one. My dentist told me that I need to get that. Raylan finished up this Crest Premium toothpaste. Now, I don't know if this is mine or hers, but y'all, this is the EOS Vanilla Cashmere Lotion. So we finished this up. Y'all, this is so good. It's a lotion, but it's not your typical lotion. If you have never tried the EOS Body Lotion, y'all, this works like or has the consistency of a body cream. And for all you gourmand girlies, this is what you need. I mean, it smells you get that vanilla, you get that cakiness. It is really, really good. It's sweet, y'all. This will pair well with any of your gourmand fragrance 
combos. So again, this is the EOS Vanilla Cashmere. So that's that one. I think that was mine because y'all, this is what Raylan's look like. I threw mine away. So I think that was mine. And here is the one. Can I put this in here? Here's the one that she finished. Stuff from empties in the bag is just so nasty. Okay, she finished up this Glide, Oral-B Glide Floss Picks. Finish that up. I finished up, this is really, this one is really, really good. This Airwick here, this is limited edition. The Refreshing Watermelon and Berries. I will definitely repurchase this if it comes out again next year. And I finished another one. I typically would use the fresh linen in the living room, but when I saw those, I was like, let me try these out. All right, I finished up this, we finished up this Gaines um, Fireworks, what is this? Scent Boosters, it, again, in the Moonlight Breeze fragrance. I finished up this Jergens Weightless Wet Skin Moisturizer. Y'all, this stuff is so good. I mean, really, really good. If you want your skin to be moisturized, soft, supple, try this out. Now, there are other weight skin, weight skin, weightless wet skin moisturizers. I want to say this is this is Jergens. I think there's a one from Nivea and uh, I'm not sure what else, but try any of them. This one here, you don't have to rinse off. How I use this is once I'm done showering, then I take this and I rub it all over my body and then I pat dry, you know, before I get out the shower. And then I still go in with my body creams and oils. You don't have to necessarily, but I just like to. So this is the Jergens Weightless Wet Skin Moisturizer. And this is the one that has argan oil. That's the one I always get. Okay, I finished up this Tree Hut Vanilla Whipped Shea Body Butter. Y'all have seen this on the channel. And this has um, those little like sprinkles of gold flakes in it. And now that I'm looking, I'm assuming that that's what these here on the lid stand for. But y'all, this is really good. I mean, the scent is really light. So this will pair well and it won't override any of your perfumes or fragrance combos either. So the Tree Hut Vanilla Whipped Shea Body Butter. And y'all, my camera is about to die, but we're going to try to push through it as quickly as we possibly can. I also finished up this limited edition Cinnamon Dolce Shea Sugar Scrub. Did I say by Tree Hut? Y'all, this does smell so good. This was released last year. Uh, last fall season. I hope I have another one because this is really, really good. Would definitely repurchase this. So that's that. My son finished up this First Sight 3-in-1 Hair Face and Body Wash by Bath and Body Works. Y'all don't look too hard at the um, <laughs> at this bottle, but y'all, he finished this up. That's why I said anything in the bottom of these bags you can just forget about it. I finished up this mid. Did I finish this or Raylan? I think Raylan finished this up. The Midsummer's Dream um, body cream. Was this mine? I think this. I don't know who this is because I know I had one, but I didn't know she had one. But anyway, this is by Bath and Body Works. If I saw that again, would I repurchase it? Probably not because I like the fragrance mist more than the body cream in that uh, scent. Raylan finished up this Crest 3D White Toothpaste. I finished up this Moisturizing Body Wash by Bath & Body Works in the Vanilla Bean Noel scent. Yeah, this smells so good. I think I have two more of those. We'll definitely repurchase those. Raylan finished up this Dove Shea Butter Deodorant. 
So there's that. I finally finished up this kale and green tea spinach vitamin superfood cleanser by Youth to the People. I got this during um, the Sephora VIB sale. I don't know if I will get this again. Um, I really didn't see too much of a difference when I was using this. So I don't know if I would repurchase this. I mean, there's a little bit left in here, but I wasn't about to fool with this, trying to get this out because it's a, a thicker consistency. But y'all, yeah, so I don't know. Um, I'm using another face wash right now. So yeah, I finished this one up. This next one, oh, this is so good. I wish I had five more of these, but this is... Um, a foaming hand soap by Bath and Body Works in the Cotton Candy Grape fragrance. This released in the spring, and I only got one of these, y'all. This smells absolutely delightful. I'm telling you, this smells so good. I may just have to go on one of the third-party websites and get me some of these, but y'all, this smells so good. In the Cotton Candy Grape, if they have this for semi-annual sale, trust me, I am buying backups. That is so good. Okay, Raylan finished up this Do Grow Stimulating Hair Oil. There we go. So she finished that up. All right, y'all. I finished up this Edge Booster. This is uh, hair gel in the citrus scent. And here's what it looks like. I mean, when I say use it up. Oh, look at that hair. When I say use it up, use it up. So that's that one. Then I finished up another one. That's that one there. So I normally go through one of those a month, y'all. Let me tell you, that hold is really good on my hair. It works on my hair. Raylan said it doesn't work on her hair, but it works on mine and Ryan's hair. So I feel that it works really, really well. Um, so I will continue to purchase it. And then I have here this Vaseline All Over Body Balm Jelly Stick. So I'll finish that one up. That little bit that's in the top here, I'm not going to worry with it. I couldn't get it out, so it is what it is. Bro finished up one of his body washes in the scent coffee and whiskey y'all he loved this scent so i made sure to stock him up on that one he has about 10 more i want to say and then i finished up no Raylan finished this up this is a sol de janeiro delencia drench body butter and that's that on the inside this stuff smells so good would i repurchase this Yes, I do have one of these. Well, I actually had two. I used one of them up, but I have a backup and I have a backup spray. This is really moisturizing. It's thick. I don't necessarily want to say it leaves you greasy, but I don't necessarily mind being greasy because I love looking soft and supple. But this here, this is not like the typical Sol de Janeiro's body butters you know the other ones are kind of like that they kind of look like or put you in the mind of yogurt how yogurt looks but this one is a thicker consistency reminds me of like shea butter but whipped so yes i would repurchase this but i didn't finish this Raylan did okay but i definitely would repurchase this the scent is Fluffy, light, airy, and sweet. It's really good. I mean, it'll pair well with a lot of your fragrance combos as well. But yes, Delencia Drenched Body Butter Body Butter by Sol de Janeiro is definitely a repurchase. Would definitely be a repurchase. Raylan, fin y'all, she finished this up so quickly. This was mine. She came and she got it. <sighs> I'm going to say she stole it because she didn't ask me for it. I was like, where is my oil just like oh i got it y'all this is by sugar milk co and it's called the sugar cookie body oil and if you want to pair this with a lotion this smells just like the eos vanilla cashmere lotion 
they pair well together. You want to walk around smelling gourmand, smelling sweet like a sugar cookie. Pair those two together and y'all, so good. And I did buy another one of those. Okay, I finished up this Creamy Luxe Hand Soap in the Vanilla Coconut scent. And this was so good. I used this in the kitchen. Um, and y'all, this was from 2018. I don't, I don't, I haven't seen Bath and Body Works come out with the Creamy Luxe Hand Soap in a while. I don't know why they stopped making this formula. But this was really, really good. This is all my, me and my mom used to buy. This formula, but now they have, I think it's called the Cleansing Gel. The Creamy Lux was the best. So anyway, if you can find it, get you some because it's smooth the way it, you know, washes your hand. I, I just like it. It's Creamy Lux. And this one was really good. So this is the Creamy Lux Hand Soap in the Vanilla Coconut Scent from Bath & Body Works. And then we finished up this. It's a 10. What is this? coily miracle mask so here's what it looks like got this from tj maxx for 20 bucks it says 19.99 but it originally sells for 40 dollars who paid well i would pay that for a hair mask but it has to be a good one and there's some hair in here y'all but you can see that it is done so we finished this up um would i repurchase that I don't know it wasn't bad but I the next hair mask that I'm gonna purchase is from Ajwa Beauty and I want to say she's stationed here or her headquarters are here in Dallas so that's my next hair mask and hair products that I'm gonna be buying and I will share that with y'all um, once I'm done using it though but yeah Okay, next up is this coffee and whiskey body wash that my son finished up. Y'all, this smells so good. It smells like coffee and whiskey. I mean, it smells good, but yeah, that's what he finished up. And then Raylan finished up this travel size body lotion from Pink in the warm and cozy fragrance. I finished up another moisturizing body wash by Bath and Body Works and it's Gingham Gorgeous. Y'all, this was so good and so pretty. I love Gingham Gorgeous. I mean, it smells like you get the apple, you get the peach, and you get the florals in here. So this has notes of pink strawberries, peach nectar, and peony blooms. Y'all, this smells so good. I like this over the reformulated or reformulated no re-released version of gingham gorgeous i mean i think i'd have like two more backups of this but would definitely repurchase gingham gorgeous i have here this lip butter balm by summer fridays and the vanilla beige scent here i love 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 this stuff y'all this was bought for me or bought for me yes for christmas i mean it has a small a light tint to it but it's kind of like a natural tint and y'all yeah i use this up like i use this every day like hey, there's nothing coming out of there it's not gonna want to focus but yeah there is oh look at that Y'all, I'm done with this. I try my best to get all this stuff out of here, but yeah. Summer Fridays, Vanilla Beige Lip Butter Balm. That was a gift for Christmas, and it was in my stock. It was a stocking stuffer, and guess what? I am hooked. I now have about five of those Summer Fridays um, lip balms. The next here is a wallflower in the Midnight Blue Citrus. Scent by Bath and Body Works. Y'all, this smells so good. I had this in my son's room. I mean, it smells so, 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 so good. What are the notes of this? I'm not sure. But it came in body care as well. I mean, it smells like it has mango in it, but it's like an aquatic type mango. It's really, really good, y'all. Smells so good. Midnight Blue Citrus by Bath and Body Works. And then I finished up this 
Hydrating Facial Cleansing Gel by Good Molecules. I think I have another one. I'm supposed to have two of these, but y'all, this, this is really good. This was a sample that came in uh, one of Raylan and I's Bopis orders, and I will be repurchasing this. It is a light feeling foaming face wash. I mean, it's light, it's airy, there's no scent to it. I mean, it just feels really good on the skin. Rayla asked me, she said, do you like it? Are you going to get some more? I said, yes. This was a win, so I'm glad they put two of these in the bag. I love it. So, Good Molecules will be repurchased, uh, well, will be purchased after I use the CeraVe Cleansing uh, Facial Wash. Okay, now that was everything out of that bag. Now on to the next bag. And y'all, this one is heavy. Y'all hear the glass clanking, right? So here is the bag, my Victoria's Secret bag. Okay, so these are like my candles and like body, not body care, home fragrance, okay? So this is in the sweet wallflower in the sweet agave and something. So here's that one. You see I wrote on here. What I'm thinking about doing next is putting a label on here because I really hate to use a Sharpie to write on this because it rubs off eventually. And they do, Bath & Body Works does put the names of the fragrance up here, but I can't read that. So anyway, this was the Sweet Agave and Nectar. I think it's Sweet Agave and Nectar, maybe. It was okay. It was okay. It was fruity. Um, do I have to have it again? I don't have to repurchase it, no. Okay, this one here. I finished up another one. I think this is ch uh, Cherry Almond Shortbread. I, I think. I don't know. But I finished this one up. Finished up another one. Another Wallflower. I want to say that this is is this the agave next one? If it is, why didn't I write on it? Because I had these in the kitchen. Sweet agave. Is it sweet agave? Oh, and orange, maybe. I don't know. But y'all, here's another wallflower from Bath & Body Works. Here's another one. I want to say that this is kitchen, kitchen lemon. Oh, yeah. That's most definitely kitchen lemon by Bath & Body Works. Y'all, look, another EOS Vanilla Cashmere lotion. I told y'all we love that. We love Vanilla Cashmere. Okay, so here is another Kitchen Lemon. Definitely, we would purchase these. I love to have these in the kitchen in the spring and summer. So I buy when I see those on sale, I stock up on them. Another Kitchen Lemon. I'm trying to get all of the wallflowers. I may miss some though. I got another one here. What is this? Oh, whipped coconut milkshake. I am so sad about this one. This released during SAS, and I only bought like one or two. This smells so good. Y'all know whipped vanilla, whipped coconut milkshake in the body care. I didn't think it would smell that good in the home fragrance because I did not buy it in the candle form but the wallflower is really 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 good so yeah that's whipped coconut milkshake i may get on the discounters website and see if i can find that i may not if they have it at semi-annual sale in december i may get it but who knows they probably won't have it and i'll just be out of luck okay here we have another midnight blue citrus there we go I finished up this champagne, apple, and honey room spray. There we go. Yeah, this smells so good. This smells just like the candle. I mean, it smells really, really good. And y'all know what? I, I should have brought this in here to y'all to show y'all the comparison. But these are one point. 
These are 1.5 ounces, right? And I have one in the kitchen from a long time ago. I wanna say that thing is like, maybe like four ounces. And this is 8.95. I wanna say the one that I have is, well, I know it was less than 8.95, but that just goes to show how less of products that these companies are giving us or not giving us are selling to us and that they've gone up on the prices so yeah but y'all yeah this is a champagne apple and honey i love this i get it every fall season because i just love the smell of apple and it's it's that sweet smooth honey apple so yeah we'll repurchase we that Well, you know what? Some stuff did trickle over here in this uh, in this bag. Y'all, I finished up this Vanilla Bean Noel in the Fine Fragrance Mist. You can see there's a little bit left on the corner there, but I don't know if y'all can see that. But yeah, this is done. This is so good. Last year's version, oh my God, it was really good, really potent. You could smell, it's, uh, it just smelled good. What's the notes in Vanilla Bean Noel? Fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, sugar cookies, whipped cream, and snow kiss must. This is so good. Y'all, and Dua, which is a dupe house, made um, a perfume out of this fragrance mist. It is so good. I have it. I've tried it. I love it. So, when fall comes, closer to like winter, see, winter time, when I start wearing this, I will definitely be pairing this with my holiday, and it's called ho Holiday Delight, I wanna say. But y'all, finish up the whipped, no, Vanilla Bean Noel. All right, let's talk about some of these candles. Okay, so Raylan finished up this pumpkin apple, and here is how it burned. I mean, this is just, I guess she's in the fall, you know, she loves fall, so she's in the fall frame of mind, and yeah, it smell, smells like pumpkin apple. This comes out every season, and she loves it, and so do I. So, pumpkin apple, we will be repurchasing that fragrance, or that candle. Next up, I have the pistachio and toasted vanilla. This came out last fall no i think this came out for winter and here is how it burned and it's okay it smell you do get that pistachio and vanilla and it smells kind of like smoky but y'all i it's okay i don't necessarily have to have this the notes are salted pistachios toasted vanilla almonds it's okay a lot of people love this but it was just meh for me so pistachio and toasted vanilla y'all this one here oh my gosh is so good this is from the bridgerton line and it's danbury shortbread y'all the notes in this are whipped vanilla almonds sugar crystals so so good here's how it burned i have one more of these the throw on this is magnificent. This smells like shortbread, sweet shortbread, like you have something baking in the kitchen. It smells delightful. And when I tell you, when you walk into the house, you can smell it. It's, it's powerful. It smells really good. It's not powerful in a bad way where it's like overbearing, but it's powerful like good. And so this almonds here, you have almonds in here. You know how like almonds can kind of give off a like cherry fragrance or cherry scent? That's what this is, y'all. This is good. I hope you got your hands on it, but Danbury Shortbread, I would definitely repurchase this if I saw this at Saz. Next up, I have Blueberry Lemon Sour, and I got this on Candle Day, and here's how it burned. It smells like a Blueberry Lemon Sour. You can definitely smell the tartness of the lemon, and do I really get Blueberry? I get, yeah, yeah. You can get Blueberry. You get Blueberry out of here. The notes are... Sugar lemonade and blueberry sugar. You know what? I think this was a repackage. 
I want to say, but I cannot, for the life of me, I can't remember the name of it, but y'all, this is good. The throw is not, mm, it's not terribly bad and it's not great either, but if you're in close quarters, maybe if you're in a smaller room, because I had this burning in the kitchen. If you're in a smaller room, maybe you could smell it better. But I like it. Yeah, I love anything lemon. So anyway, blueberry lemon sour. If I saw it again, would I repurchase? Yes. Next up, we have Main Street Bakery. Y'all, this smells like, um, what do you call it? What is it called? What's the dessert called? With the bananas are you gonna focus what is the dessert called um mm, has bananas in the wafers I don't eat it banana pudding that's what this is y'all I could not that's how it burned here's how it burned I couldn't think of it but it smells just like it you get that prominent banana and it's sweet. It smells like it smells like you're in a bakery. Somebody is making banana pudding. Is it banana pudding? Banana cream pie? Banana pudding. Because banana cream pie has coconut in it. The notes in this, I'll tell y'all what the notes are. Fresh banana, vanilla wafers, and cinnamon sugar. It smells so good. Did y'all get this? Did y'all like this if y'all got it? I do have a backup. If I saw this at SAS, would I repurchase? Yes. Even though I have a backup, I would repurchase so that I can have more on hand. That one's still selling too. If you didn't know, Bath & Body Works is having currently a candle sale. And I think they're going for $12.95. So yeah, if you see that, if you want it and you see that, pick it up. The, this next candle here is firecracker pop i get this every summer because it smells like a bomb pop the notes are red cherry fresh citrus juicy berry here's how it burned now this has good throw it smells so good so good i only i only burn these in july that's it. I know that's crazy, but for me, in my head, how my brain works, this is a July candle. This is what it is. So, firecracker pop. All right, this next candle here is almond croissant. Now, this smells really good, too. Here's how it burned. This has really good throw as well. I'm smelling it now as I took the lid off. But yeah, it smells like a pastry. And remember I told you that almonds can almonds in a fragrance can give off that cherry scent. And that's what this smells like. The notes are toasted almonds, vanilla glaze, flakery, flakery, flaky croissants. I have another one of these where I repurchase it. No. Because what I found out is that once it starts burning, I mean, the projection is good. The throw on it is amazing. It can kind of be too much for me. So, yeah, even though I still have that other one, I'm going to burn it. But I wouldn't repurchase another one. So, again, this is almond croissant. Oh, y'all, I have another almond croissant. How many of these did I get? I think I went crazy over this. I think I have another one. Maybe I had four. I don't know. Y'all let me know how many candles do y'all think I went through in July and August. Okay, we've got some more. So I have another firecracker pop. Let me know. Don't, I mean, oh, here's how it burned. Pause the video now and let me know what y'all think. I don't even know. I didn't even count them. Okay, I have another candle here, and this is in the scent van vanilla. Velvet Amber Woods. This came out in the summer. I don't know if they still have this around, but y'all, I bought this because it smells like Baccarat. 
I mean, it smells like Baccarat. Think of, what is it, in the stars? But think of Baccarat, it's what this smells like. So the notes are fine saffron, lavish jasmine. Mm -mm -mm. Fine saffron, lavish, fine saffron, lavish jasmine, and bright amber. Here's how it burned. I don't know if I showed y'all that already, but y'all, it smells, it's a perfumey candle that smells like the perfume Baccarat. And I love Baccarat, but would I repurchase this again? No, because I don't like it. I don't like it in the candle form. I love Baccarat. I love Baccarat as a perfume. So velvet, amber woods. Next up, I'm so sad to see this go because I don't have a backup. I wish I did, but this is... Cosmopolitan. This release on Candle Day. It smells so good. Here's how it burned. I wish I had more of these. Oh my gosh. It smells tropical. I smell that pineapple in here. Y'all, it's good. And the throw on it was good as well. So this, well, you know what? It doesn't give the notes up here. It just says, up on the rooftop bar. Santa's taking a little detour to meet Mrs. Claus for drinks. But y'all, look at the label. So, Clausmopolitan. But y'all, I smell pineapple in here. It's a tropical drink, and I wish I had more. If I saw this candle again, would I repurchase it? Yes, I would. Oh, I have another lemon blueberry sour or blueberry lemon sour. Here's how it burned. Smells delightful. Love this. I did buy two of these. I should have bought five or six. But y'all, another Cosmopolitan. Oh, I wish I had more. Here's how it burned. Smells so good. Um, this smells so good. Now, you don't have to, you saw I burned this in either in July or August. So, this is not necessarily a Christmas scent. This could be at any time, spring, summer. Well, for me, I'm thinking summer because spring is more like your floral leaves, your light, you know, scents in my head is what I think. Yeah, this is good though. So, this was Cosmopolitan. Okay, so that's all the candles. Drop me down below. How many candles do y'all think I burned? Okay. So, I burned a total of 12. Raylan burned one. All right, so we have some more wildflowers. Sweet agave and orange. Because I have it there with a Sharpie. This is, what is this? Sweet kiwi and star fruit. This smells good, y'all. I wish I had another one of these. But I think I'm out. I think. What is this? Another midnight blue citrus. And I want to say this is probably kitchen lemon. Let's see. Definitely kitchen lemon. And then here's another two pack of kitchen lemon. And then in the bottom of my bag here, I just have some, some of the um, labels or the tags. So yes, one of them was cherry almond shortbread. Okay, so cherry almond shortbread. Oh, one of them was Vacation Vibes. Uh, yeah, no. I burned one. No, I didn't burn. I have one of those left. I went, I plugged that in, and y'all did not like it. I was trying to take it back to the store, but I didn't have the top for it, so it's in the kitchen. Whipped coconut milkshake, but yeah, no. I would not purchase that because it does not smell the same in the wallflower as it does. I want to say they had it in candle form because I don't remember it being in body care. So, oh, you know what? That's not this one. 
Here's a sweet agave in orange. I have two of these. Sweet agave in orange. So y'all, that is it. That's everything from our July and August empties. Y'all let me know, do y'all, how many products did y'all empty? Because I did not count, I know I had two moisturizing body washes. Um, we did three lotions, one fine fragrance mist, one body cream, one large body cream, one small body cream, and a plethora of body soaps. But yeah, y'all, I am going to start doing a perfume tray and a project use it up because I have a ton of products and I need to be intentional about using up those products because I don't want them to go bad. And the body care, the body care, the body creams tend to go bad sooner than the body lotions. So I need to go through those. My moisturizing body washes, I'm okay. The body washes, I'm okay. The body lotions that I have, because I used to buy body lotions before I started buying body creams, and I have a lot of body lotions also. So I need to go through those. And I'm saying all this to say, I will be doing a project, Use It Up. I will share that with y'all. Um, so that way, I'm intentional about the product, the products and items that I'm using. I'm not so much worried about the fine fragrance mist. It's just the body creams. I don't want those to go bad. Um, so I need to use those up. And I do have some from like 2019, 20, 2020, I want to say. So those need to go. And if I am if I'm intentional and purposeful, I will be able to use those up. I just have to focus on them. So y'all, that is it. That's everything for our empties. I hope you all enjoyed this video, getting to see everything that, well, pretty much everything that we emptied for the month. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at just Rochelle W. And thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.